Hello, I am Arlena LaCroix. Welcome to How to Find Customers. I'm going to share you through, I'm going to share three tips with you today. So let's jump in and get started. All right. Before we jump in and how to find those customers and those three tips, look behind me. This is from one of my customers, Angie, who shared pictures on her Facebook page of how much she loves our Fabrileak products. We are new to the U.S., so not a lot of people know us, but what I love is her testimonial, and that's what I want to share with all of you today. Um, real quick, show you what she says about our awesome products and look at this. So hopefully you can see um, right here, she said presentation is everything. And I had completely forgotten to open my Fabrily order that came in a couple of weeks ago, maybe longer. I can't wait to wear these two products in the morning. So far I have tried a I haven't tried a single Fabrileak product that I don't love. My favorite is the blur cream and now I have blur powder. It's like a Snapchat filter. And what I have, she has the blur cream. This is our blur cream, can you see that? And then she purchased our um, Thin Fence um, Blur Effect Powder. And this, I absolutely love this too, coming from someone who doesn't, wear makeup. This is really, um, uh, I just love this. Look at that. Um, and so she said it's like a Snapchat filter in a bottle. And so I love that. And then she got her Kiss Proof um, lipstick too. So look at these products. Your customers are going to fall in love with this, but you have to find customers and then you need to promote these products to your customers. So we have different ways for them to purchase with us, like they get 20% off when they register as a customer with you on your website. And minimum orders are $25, just an FYI for your customers, but who wouldn't find $25 to purchase? Um, and Or they could become a consultant and you know get their products at the 26% off, or they can order with you and you can drop ship their order to them. Now, if you're wondering what dropship is, search on this YouTube channel to find dropship my video to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, um, so let's jump in to our three ways to find your customers. One thing that you want to have before you get started is your materials. You want to have either a catalog that is strictly for your customers, or you can do a file on your um, on your phone or on your laptop because you want to keep up with who you are reaching out to. And what I really suggest is dating it, um, whether it's each page, if you're doing, you know, if you have a day that you can reach out to a lot of people, then you want to do the uh, page or you can do like a little section, a little section and have each part dated. So you know who you've reached out to who came back to you and wanted a catalog, who came back and wanted to register as a customer or a consultant. So you can follow up and make sure that either they did that or if, you know, people get busy, you know, this is us. This is what we want to do. This is, you know, a side gig or a full-time business, whichever one it is for you. And they have kids and they don't think about it all of the time. Just like you've seen, Angie, she is a teacher. She has a business herself um, with cute clothes. I should have worn one of her shirts. <laughs> I'm always buying some cute shirts from her. But people get busy. And so if we don't reach out to them and ask questions, and this is something that I could have done that I will start doing, reaching out and say, hey, did you get your order? What do you think about the products? And so that is even a learning lesson for me to make sure that they know they have their products or just to make sure it got shipped because I did a drop ship order with her as well. So, all right. I know you are wondering what is these three tips? You want to find out these three tips and like, come on, come on. <laughs> so let me go in. This is our 
FiberLeakByArlena.com page. This is where you can find product reviews, you can find tips, you can find handouts. I have free resources for you. And this is um, when you click on our Gold Crushers tab, you're going to find um, this under here, okay? So this is one of the easiest, simplest ways for you to find it. You wanna go to Faberlic Sellers and you wanna click on 100 places to find customers. And what it's going to do is every time that I have an aha moment or I find a new way or a new place to promote and get customers, I'm going to be sharing that on this page. So today we're gonna go into three tips to find customers. I created a contact list for you if you wanna print that out um, instead of using a notebook or um, a file on your computer. Um, where to find customers, if you wanna relaunch your business, if you're just thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. So this is the goal. Your goal is to build your list so you always have more people to talk to than you can ever talk to. Because after all, your pipeline of of contacts is what makes or break your business. So if you only have, you know, five people um, that you're, you know, talking to about Faberlic, well, they're not going to want to talk about it every day or every catalog period. They're going to order every, um, like every other catalog period or maybe every four catalog periods. And you'll have your very few customers who order every single catalog. But a lot of times what I've seen in this business is they don't order every time that we need an order or we want to place an order. So again, you want to have more contacts in your pipeline than you could ever talk to. So this is where these three tips are going to really um, help you with that. So number one is your radius. And I know you're thinking, what the heck is this? But your radius is where you live and what's circling you. So where do you live? And then what towns or cities is touching your city, your town? And you want to write that down. You want to write down where you live and the other four places that touches where you live. Write those cities down. So for me, Springville, Odenville, Trustville, um, Asheville, Argo, you know, those are all of those cities that I visit a lot. Um, on and on and and I know that, okay, where do I live and what are the uh, places around me? And then I want to write down everybody that I know or everything that I do in those towns because that's going to give me um, an idea of where to go to promote my business, who to talk to to, pro to promote my business. Next is your circle. So your circle is always, you know, the people that you know. This is your family, your friends, your church family, your Moms of your kids' schools, sports, you know, um, it's baseball season right now. So are you at the baseball field? Who are those moms that you talk to um, every time you go? Who is in your circle? Your coworkers, if you have that, you know, job. Um, if you drop your kids off at daycare, you have the daycare ladies. So you want to really think about everybody and don't judge anybody, just write everybody down because again, you want to have your contact list as big as possible. Now, your social media channels. I don't know about you, but I have tons and tons and tons of people on my social media channels. So, and if you're like me, <laughs> I am on more than one social media. Um, I have Facebook, I have Instagram, I have Snapchat, even though I don't use it. I am on TikTok, there's Tumblr, there's Clubhouse, there's Pinterest. So you really want to look at those um, social medias and you want to pull everybody that you're friends with on Facebook, on Instagram, TikTok, who are you following, who's following you, um, Pinterest, same thing. Who do you follow? What boards do you really love? Is that a company? Is that a person? And if it is a company, well, you could jot down some of those names of the people who follow them. Because again, you want to introduce this business to as many people as possible. So that is just a few of my tips. That's three tips that I really believe when you start writing, you're going to have so many people to reach out to um, give them a catalog to, and what I would highly suggest, this is just a script that I use. 
I will say, because, you know, a lot of these people you do know. Um, so this is for the people that you know. Hey, it's Arlena. I just started a new business and wanted to see if you would like to get the catalog to see if it's something that you like or to see if it's not. So you're giving them, hey, you know, you want to offer them the catalog. It might be for them, it might not. And so just giving them that simple, here's something that I want to share, but you don't have to if you don't want to, you know. So we're giving them kind of an out. And so they don't have to feel bad if they go, oh, well, no, I'm good with, you know, whatever they use or if they buy from another company, then okay. Because that, again, is what you want to do. And don't worry about the people that say no, because again, you have all kinds of people. You have three different ways to fill up your pipeline, your contacts. You're going to have more people to talk to than you can ever imagine. And if you don't, you really need to sit down and think about that. Reach out, okay? All right. So I hope this is very helpful for you. Go ahead. Right. So Lots thank you so much. See something that you like, drop it below in the comments. And I will see you on the next video.